Hi everyone, here we are again, another Saturday in lockdown. So how are you coping? From a personal point of view, uh, I'm getting very bored. I find I'm getting up late in the mornings and going to bed at 7pm. Crazy I know, but I have nothing else to do. I would love to hear how you are coping. Share your ideas or experiences in the comments section and it may help others. This week I received my travel voucher from Air Malta with a 30% bonus on top of the cost of my original flight which I was due to take on the 16th of April. So at least I'll be able to book another flight when the airport in Malta finally reopens. I also managed to extend the rental agreement on my flat in the UK so at least I have somewhere to live. My biggest concern at the moment is my landlord in Malta who has been waiting for me to move in. I'm hoping all will still be okay as he already has a deposit that I paid when I was in Malta in March. So let's get on with the story. Episode 6 of Living Life in Malta. Over a couple of days I had viewed seven properties to rent with two agents. I was pleased that they had chosen a variety of types of apartments as it was easier to discard certain ones which were not suitable for certain reasons. My main criteria were properties that were near to the beach, shops, had a sea or land view, buses and on the flat as certain parts of Meliha were quite hilly. The last criteria was added as although I am currently healthy, if for whatever reason I began to have difficulty in walking, it would not be too detrimental to me if I was able to walk everywhere. At the end of the two days, I had narrowed the choice down to two apartments. Ironically, one from each of the agents. I was favouring one apartment which had sea and land views, a balcony to the front and side, which would get the sun pretty much all day. Uh, in addition, it was only a one minute walk to the beach, had a few shops and restaurants a couple of minutes walk away. In fact, it was above a reasonably priced restaurant. The other was a little more inland and was extremely spacious with a video intercom system but although there was a sea view from the balcony at the rear of the property, it did overlook other buildings and wasn't easily accessible for the beach. Both however were two bedrooms, fully furnished and €850 Euros per month which is around £720 uh, UK uh, a month which I was paying for a two bedroom fully furnished flat in the UK. I was now on the verge of making a commitment to live in Malta and was both excited yet, if I'm honest, a little bit apprehensive. There was still another unanswered question I had to deal with, this being the income tax situation with regards to my UK income. I'd heard much about the dual tax arrangement that, you, that the UK had with Malta, but I needed to find a professional to advise me. While chatting to the various landlords of the apartments I had visited, they all estimated that I would probably spend around €100 Euros per month on food essentials, £87 UK, and around €50 Euros per month on electricity, gas and water, about £43 UK. A total monthly total of €150, Euros, £130 UK at the moment with exchange rates. I was encouraged by those figures as my spreadsheet had calculated I would spend a total of €494 Euros per month on both. So I clearly overestimated my expected expenditure, believed it was better to be overcautious, and I pretty much worked on the basis that I would buy everything on my shopping list each and every month, which was probably very unlikely. So everyone, next Saturday it will be episode 7. Hopefully we'll all have some encouraging news regarding the easing of lockdown. Stay safe, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel and most of all, look after yourself.